So, you want to do some pixel art animation, but you don't really know where to start. Hey guys, one by Tets by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Libra Sprite once again. Uh, and we're taking a look at some pixel art animation here. So, I've done some pixel art stuff in the past, I've done animation in the past, but I, I, today I kind of want to break down uh, the process that I usually go through when I animate uh, pixel art sprites or just anything that's pixel art related at all. So I have four different frames here of Mario and Luigi. So what I want to do, the first step I usually do is I have a Mario and Luigi with no animation on them at all. So now we can just animate them. There you go. Um, and what I usually do is I try to try to look for places where I can actually add motion. Like for instance, the hair or the mustache or the hat or whatever. So you wouldn't really want to like I mean, if your if your character was supposed to be like super overweight or something, and then of course you could do like a you know a, a Santa Claus kind of belly kind of thing, but I wouldn't necessarily do that for this because Mario and Luigi aren't you know that hefty. So um, I would look for places where I could do that. Usually the arms are a good thing to do that with. I usually start off with the arms. If you take a look at the other animation here, uh, the arms kind of go up and down the same way. It's very very simple uh, first step. So I usually start with that. So I'll do something like that. So I'll grab. Uh, and we're going to focus on Mario. Luigi's not really going to get much love in this video. I'm sorry, Luigi. We don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab his arms here. So I'm just I'm using the uh, select tool here. So the uh, rectangular marquee tool. Um, and I'm just going to grab his arms, hold down shift, and then just grab both of those. And then on the second frame, not on the first one, we'll just move them. Actually, I want to move him up so he has a little bit of, you know, up and then down motion. Because if it just goes down, it's, it's going to look like he's just pushing his arms downward. So I, I kind of want to get a little bit of momentum build up. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I'll just move him up. Really rough right now. You can see there's gaps and edges and whatever. And we'll fix that in a second here. So I'll go to the next frame. Uh, and I want to move them down. And then on the, the fourth frame, I'll move them down uh, one more frame. So one more pixel. So now we have something like this, which is very rough, as you can see. So on the fourth first frame I will have his body go down so he's going to kind of bend at his knees hit M to go back to that tool there I'll just select all this and actually one less than that nope you there we go push that down select none uh, and then so now now it doesn't look like his arms move at all as you can see his arms stay in the same place but that's because we moved them up by one pixel now we just moved everything down by one so it looks like they're staying in the same place which is what I want um, so it looks good all right, so uh, third frame, he goes, he kind of bobs back up, which I don't want. So I'll kind of select everything except for I'll select his entire head, and we'll move that down. So now um, his body goes up, but his head doesn't because his head follows afterwards, which is nice. So it, it kind of looks like he pushes up off of that. So now if we play this all together, which looks pretty good. All right, so there we go. We can add, and like I said, you can keep doing the same process over and over and over again until you get the amount of depth or fluidity that you really want. I want to move his overalls back down for this. So I'll select this whole piece, hit Control C on the second frame, and then move to the third frame, hit Control V to paste that. And I want to move them up just by one. So I'll select this piece, and actually, wait, no. Wait, no, 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 no. Do I want to do that, actually? What does that look like? Actually, I want to I want to select this piece here and then copy this and then put this on the second frame because I like that better. All right, so there's that one pixel that's popping back and forth right there. I want to fix that. You see right here, we get rid of that uh, darker pixel put it back if you have anything that's inconsistent like that that stays the same like like this shot right here like his chest is stay actually everything about this frame is exactly the same we got to fix that but you see if there's something off like if this was like this oh if this was like this you can easily see that pixel popping in and out so you got to fix that uh, things have to be consistent between frames or else it's going to look a little strange consistent enough that that, that you notice it so uh, all right so i don't want two stagnant frames so two and three are exactly the same i want to fix that i uh, will fix that by so he's going down here. What else would go down? His maybe his hat would flick downwards a little bit because he's he he, he went down so hard. Maybe it, it popped his hat down a little bit. And I want to make it so his whole hat doesn't go down. So I want to select the top half and then pull pull that back up. So now it looks like that happened. Now I don't want his hat. I want his hat to be back down when it pops back up. So I'll pull the whole hat down again and. I will push just these down and maybe this piece as well. And on the first frame, 
we can oh no first frame we can pull the hat down some more right there as well so we'll fix all these inconsistent pixels in a second but you can see how you can see how now it looks like his hat's kind of jiggling a little bit which is nice yeah I think it looks fine all right uh so there we go and I also want to give his body a little bit more movement because now his hat's moving a little bit too much for his for his uh, body so on this frame I'll move his head back down and by the way I'm using the brackets not the arrow keys because if I use the arrow keys to try and move across frames it'll do this which I don't want I want to be able to, to move with the frames and I'm using the the brackets uh, uh, not, not brackets um, the, the 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 period and and comma buttons on my keyboard right now instead of the arrow keys uh, all right so um what else can we do here we can uh, obviously like I said we can do his hair um, so right there and then uh, actually on the first frame I do not want his head to go down like that I want it up and then on the second frame maybe I want just his face to go down on the third frame I want his face to go down so it looks like his head moves down but it doesn't so it's kinda like his you know he's just looking down I guess maybe a little bit more yeah sweet um, and his hair right here on the second frame since his head is going down things will usually stay where they are or go up a little bit when you go down like imagine if you're wearing like a really really loose shirt and you pull your arm down really fast your shirt is kind of gonna it's gonna kind of go up before it goes back down so same thing with his hair we will go on the second frame since his head's going down I want to pull this little piece upwards to match what it was before and then on three it will come down even more um, actually wait I want to undo that and we'll just pull that down there we go and then on the fourth frame it will be about there then on the first frame it'll be back up so now we have something like this and you can see his hair is moving very slightly now there we go I think it needs a little bit more jiggle to it so on frame three I move these black pixels down and then on frame four they'll go down even more and maybe out a little bit so uh, then we can go ahead and fix this back up so we'll just connect this all back to how it's most likely should be something like this grab all these pixels put them back I and B to go to the brush select that's too big of a jump from four to one so I'm gonna go ahead on frame on first frame I'm gonna actually pull his hair like this make it a little bit bigger so I can get away with that bigger jump there um, maybe even maybe even pulling it out like this on frame three and then when you play it you got to see if it looks like it's too big of a jump and I think that four is still too big of a jump so that's that's a little that's a little much so let's go ahead and erase this piece and as you can see it's just it's like a trial and error kind of thing like I said so you got to see what works find out what doesn't work and don't do that <laughs> um, like I said what I'm going for is is fluidity for this so I want it to look as smooth as possible with just as little pixels as as is able to be used so we'll go ahead and connect this hat back up again fix all these inconsistencies and you can see this is pretty much all I've done to create the um, the illusion of fluidity in this animation so yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this video you can see uh, try and take some of these uh, little, little tidbits and you know go ahead and animate something yourself uh, it's a lot of fun to do I, I really love animating pixel art this way it's just a lot of fun his head is broken as well and I think that's gonna be it I can do a lot more to this like, like I said I can, I can do his mustache I can do a lot of other things um, but uh, but yeah so that's gonna be it his hat is a little much his hat is a little much so right here I think it should also go down as it's going out and now this piece back here is too sharp so we get rid of this uh, yeah so maybe that's a little better it might go out a little too far still maybe the front of the hat shouldn't be distorted maybe just the back of it oh yeah that's much better that's much better much better much better all right sweet so now it looks like it has maybe a little bit of hair in there that's bouncing around I don't know maybe the hat itself is just bouncing around we also have some inconsistencies with the M as you can see the M is broken right here fix that right quick hope you boys and girls enjoyed it I'll see you in the next one but until then bye bye